Hi, this first Helping Hands video is just an introduction video to give you a little bit more information about some terminology you might have heard flying around. The terminology I'm referring to is the words gross motor skills and fine motor skills. What are people talking about when they use these crazy words? Okay, gross motor skills are simply large muscle movements. So they're activities like walking, running, jumping, climbing, kicking, throwing, all those activities use large muscle groups and so they're classified as gross motor skills. We want to have good mobility um, and coordination skills. We don't want to be tripping over our feet. We don't want to be having awkward clumsy movements um, because that means we don't have strong gross motor skills. The other reason gross motor skills are super important is because they link to the other crazy word you might have heard out there, fine motor skills. And the way they link is that gross motor skills provide the foundation for fine motor skills. Okay, what do I mean by that? What I mean is when we develop from birth, we develop what we call proximally from our trunk outwards. So we need to have trunk control before we can start to use our legs in crawling and our arms to manipulate active, um, games and toys. So when we have strong gross motor skills, we can develop then the use of our arms and legs in a more coordinated fashion. So what are fine motor skills? What are we referring to exactly? We're simply referring to the small precise movements we do with our hands. So we use the small muscles in our hands and fingers to do activities like doing up buttons, manipulating a spoon or a fork, being able to tie our shoelaces, being able to hold a marker or a pencil for coloring and printing, and all those little craft activities use our fine motor skills. The problem is when we don't have strong gross motor skills, it's very difficult for our body to develop our coordinated movements in our hands. So it's very important that you always work on gross motor skills as well as fine motor skills because they really go hand in hand. Here is a little overview of fine motor skill development. And as you can see, it starts sort of proximally from the head and moves down through the body out to the hands. When we have weak muscles in our hands, or lax ligaments, like really wiggly joints, or we have differences in our sensory perceptions, um, how much strength to apply, uh, differences in our touch sensation, and we have uh, challenges with our visual motor skills, using our eyes and hands together. These are all things that can impact our fine motor skill development. Another thing that often impacts fine motor skill development is lack of practice. Sometimes you'll find those really on the go kids are really great at gross motor skills and that's because they spend so much time doing them. They love to run and jump and hang and swing in the playground, but get them to sit down and do a craft activity? No way. And what happens is they don't get enough practice working on those fine motor skills. So. These videos are going to provide you with fun ways to practice those skills so you can get your child more involved and doing those activities to build those skills in their hands so they will have more success with those fine motor challenges that will be coming their way in life and at school.